Hey guys, it's Tori from Monogram Moments, and today I'm going to walk you through how to use Photoshop Creative Cloud to make a Tumblr mock-up. So I'm going to be using a Tumblr mock-up that I purchased off of Etsy from Style Product Mock-ups. She has a ton of mock-ups, and I believe this is the one that I am using. It's for the dye sublimation 20 ounce skinny tumbler. So for what I'm going to show you, we're going to be using, it's not just a PNG file, it's um, a Photoshop file that uses smart objects. And smart objects allow you to make life, uh, real life looking mockups. So whenever you're buying a mockup and you want to use smart objects, just click on that description and make sure you see them talking about using smart objects. Just PNG files isn't what we're looking for for this tutorial. Okay, so to get started, I've purchased this mock-up. So once you open it up in Photoshop, this is what it's going to look like. It is blank. And you'll see over here, it's got this red because she wants you to draw your attention to it. And it says, click icon to add art keep layer hidden. So what we're going to do is we're going to put our mouse on this icon and we're going to double click and it's going to take us to a new page. So this is where we were and once I double clicked it takes us here. So now this is my background for the entire mock-up. So I want to use this um, leopard rainbow tie-dye digital paper so I drop it in right here and I'm going to select OK because I'm happy with that placement. Now just for um, demonstration sake. If I had this the way I wanted to look, I'm going to go to file, save, or you can hit command S on a MacBook. And then I'm going to go back here and you'll see it's now translated onto this page. And because I did not pull this side out completely, you'll see how it shows in the mock-up. So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to stretch stretch this out by holding my shift button so it doesn't go so it doesn't do this number i just want the side to be stretched out and then i'm going to hold shift and i'm going to stretch out there and i'm happy with that so i'm going to select okay and now i'm going to command save again and go back to this page and now you can see my tumblr is covered okay now i'd like to add some text right here so i created these circle splatters and I have a few options. I am going to use a three inch since this is a smaller for Tumblr and I'm going to go with this one. So I just hold and I drag and drop and you'll notice I did not go to file open. This is just a, a separate window open where I opened that file. So I'm going to size this the way that I'd like and for right now that looks okay so I'm going to press, press the check mark. So now I'm going to add in my monogram and I'm going to select the letters that I like. My monograms, they come all individually saved so I can do that. Or I can go ahead and get all the letters that I need. So I'm going to take my E and then I'll take a G to the right and hold the shift button so I can select both at the same time. And then I'm going to drag and drop, select OK, select OK. All right, so now I need to place these and you'll notice that it kind of lost my circle for the monogram and that's just because um, of the size of this mock-up. My letters are bigger than this. That's okay, we can fix it. There we go and if I really wanted to, I can hold these down. I can go to these tools up here, make sure this icon is checked, and I can make sure they're evenly spaced and they're even across, and that looks good. Okay, so I'm happy with this. So I'm going to hit or go to File, Save. And then now it shows me up. Now it shows up right here, and that is really all there is to it. Now, in her mock-up, she does have a lot of different options. So if you've got a thicker lid you're using, and this is just for the middle, so the left one, you have these same options. You could change it to that lid. She's got, instead of a metal straw, she's got a curved straw, plastic straw. Let's put that lid back. So you can really make this look as um, 
is much like the final product that you're going to be offering your customer. So let's say I did want this to be a little bit smaller. You can just select that, make that smaller, select the check mark. I'm going to Command S or File Save. And then I'm gonna go back over here and you'll see now that it is smaller. I did like it bigger, so I'm gonna keep that bigger. And now whenever you go to post this, if you're using my designs, just make sure you have a watermark on top. So this is just a layer that I added from um, something I've created before that has my watermark on top. And then you just go to File, Save As, and that is, it's that easy. So, so I'm gonna show another demonstration. And this is uh, just a duffel bag that I purchased from her that is also on her Etsy. So I wanted to edit this. So you can see I added the design, I added my text, I put a stroke around it, and I added this bow. And then when I was happy with it, I pushed Command S and went back over here. It's because I unhit it, and there you go. So again, say I wanted to take this monogram and put it here instead. I don't know if you saw that. I double click on this layer. It says click icon to add art, double click. And then I wanted to get rid of these and I'm gonna hit paste and I'm gonna size this up. She does have this whole area in case you wanted to cover the entire um, bag with a design, but I'm not doing that. And then there you go. And again, I added my watermark. Can't see it though, there we go. I added my watermark. So it is that easy and Photoshop is intimidating, but if you just know the little bit of tools here and there, it's, it's easy to use once you learn it. And um, Photoshop for this, to be able to use smart objects, it is, you can get it for this 10 nine, or 9.99 a month. Um, they have this option as well, but I do think that this would work for you. And, you know, one sale that you make off of your mock-up will pay for this per month. Um, Photoshop or Adobe does offer Photoshop Elements, which is their um, student version. It's not as advanced as the Creative Cloud version, but I don't believe you can use smart objects with it. So I think Photoshop is worth $10 a month just because you get to use these mock-ups that are so great and easy to use. And that is it. Please be sure to join my Facebook group. I'll link everything I use today in this tutorial below. Be sure to subscribe and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks guys.